Using Adobe Soundbooth CS4, you can quickly and easily edit audio files directly from Flash. One of the features in Soundbooth is that you can zoom into sounds and add markers that can then be turned into Flash cue points. Here I have an audio file. Wait a minute. That's right from to have and have not. So, it's an homage. It's and in Soundbooth, I could zoom in and highlight a particular word and create a marker or a cue point to trigger some action script event. In Sound Booth, I could hone in on a particular word and add a marker to that word to trigger something in Flash. In this example, I'll add a marker to the word homage. I'll move to the approximate point in the zoomed out sound. And then I'll zoom in. And then I'll zoom in to precisely pinpoint the beginning of the word. Now I'll add a marker using the markers panel. I'll add a marker by clicking the add marker button, which is a plus icon. For the marker, I can give the marker a name, so I'll call it homage. You can adjust the marker's time by clicking and dragging the slider. Then you can choose the type of marker. Event markers are only available to ActionScript and can trigger ActionScript events. Navigation markers are used to navigate through the sound. Now I'll save the file so I can bring it into Flash. I'll save the file by choosing File, Save As. For the file name, I'll call this Quick Edit. And for the format, I'm going to choose Adobe Sound Document. That way, the file doesn't get compressed and I can perform as many edits as I want without changing the quality of the file. So I'll click Save. Then I could choose to create a snapshot of this file to be able to revert to the original at any time. I'll leave the default name, Original Snapshot, and then click Yes. With the file saved, I'll move over to Flash. In Flash, you can easily edit a sound to the library by choosing File, Import, Import to Library. I'll find the appropriate folder and select the sound I want to import, quickedit.asnd. Then I'll click Import to Library to import it into my library in Flash. In Flash, I can double click the sound icon in the library to open up the Sound Properties window. In the Sound Properties window, I can test the sound. Wait a minute. That's right from to have an. And I can adjust the compression settings if I want to. For now, I'll just click OK. Now if you want to edit an audio file, you can do that directly from Flash. To do that, right-click or control-click the sound in the library and choose Edit with Adobe Sound Booth CS4. When you choose that option, the sound is then open in Sound Booth. And now what I can do is edit parts of the sound. For example, if I wanted to zoom all the way out, I could click the Zoom Out Full button and then delete part of the sound I could select part of the sound I want to delete and then press delete or backspace on my keyboard to delete it. Once I've made the changes I want to make, I could save the file by choosing File Save and then return to Flash and the file is edited. I'll double click the sound in the library and then click Test to test the edited sound. Wait a minute. That's right from to have and have not. So, it's an homage. It Using Adobe Soundbooth CS4, you can quickly round-trip edit audio files from Flash without interrupting your workflow.